Hello guys, this is King Mo, the Ash Man. Today we are doing one of the big monsters again, a 770. We're going to be smoking uh, a CEO flathead big block 770 Gordo Maduro. It's a 770 big block. That's what you guys look it up. It's called CEO 770 Flathead. It's a box breast. It's it's a seven inch long. You know how you guys could see it. It's. And this is supposed to be a 70 inch rings, but the problem is with the box shaped, uh, it fits in into the holy thing. Well, it's just because of the shape, it looks smaller, but it's a 770. And, you know, it's a seal, flat head, uh, big block, super Gordo Maduro 770. Uh, the cigar, as you guys see, it's well made, got a lovely, uh, the wrapper is Connecticut. The wrapper, as you guys all know by now, is the outside fancy looking one is Connecticut. Uh, the binder is Connecticut Habano. The binder is the inside one, hold the, the filler, and the filler, uh, filler is Nicaraguan. But this cigar feel, it got a, uh, a heart, it's, it's hard you know feeling that it's got a smooth touch and the band I'll be honest with you guys the band is excellent you can see you guys got the fancy red with silver and look like if you guys car enthusiast even look like a big old block logos on it if you guys can see it uh, the rubber got a nice, I don't know, got a nice aroma to it. I don't get no taste out of it yet, but we're gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna waste no time. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight cut it. You know, we shop some of the top. It got an easy, wide open draw. Once again, this is the CO Flathead 770 Big Block. Big Block Super Gordo Maduro, guys. It's uh, looking for my air, uh, for my lighter. This cigar is a big old monster. This is what I like. Perfect feeling. Feel good. We're going to go ahead and light it up in a minute from now. Uh, had the camera a little bit high, but and I use my some of my friend told me it's a <coughs> cheap lighter, but it's a fifteen dollar Monte Cristo lighter. But as you guys all like to do, the edge toasted that way you seal the flavor to the cigar. Some other people do it different, whatever, however you feel like doing it. As long take your time with it. You could use a match. But today I don't feel like using the match to light it up. But we will see, guys. It's been this cigar been sitting in my humidor for the last three weeks. I don't know if I bought this cigar or it's been given to me. All right, God. First impression, it got a very easy straw to it, wide open.
tastes nice, got a sweet, sweetie taste to it. Lovely aroma so far, you know, it's well balanced. But today, guys, we're gonna have, so we're gonna do something different. So we're gonna talk about this in a minute. Uh, this cigar, I believe, has been given to me. Didn't you get it? Maybe. I, uh, I got a, my, my buddy over here. Uh, he's uh, the Bama from Alabama. Uh, you guys mentioned him before. He's a big old cigar, cigar head smoker. He's from down south. But, you know, he... We're gonna introduce him, guys. It's over here. Uh, if you guys could see him, which I both to be in the here's Bama Faba. He's gonna be smoking a cigar with us today, and we'll see what he think and what he. I don't know what what he'll be smoking today, buddy. Uh, hey everybody, I'm Bam. I'm not a professional uh, broadcaster by any means. I'm just a buddy that walked in before uh, it's time for King Mo the Ash Man here to do uh, a video. So he just gave it to me, and I don't know much about it, but it is a Perdomo. It's, um... He's gonna be smoking a Perdomo. Yeah, uh, I don't have all the... Mencio 70 Medora Churchill style. It's a 770. It's a big old monster, too. Uh, it's it's a humongous, you know. It's That's what the king like. This is a special evening. But he is gonna go ahead and open it, show it to you guys, and he'll tell you more what he thinks. So I'm, I'm definitely not a professional and not have thought about being on here to do this, but I am going to open it and just look at it for a minute and then I'm going to hand it over to uh, the guy who's a little better expert. Really, I'm just an average person that wants to smoke a cigar and I'm ready. So anyways, I took it out of the wrapper. I guess you can see it on the screen here. Um, I'm going to let him explain it to you, but I did want to check it out. Here's the wrappers. As you guys see, look at the big massive rings. You know, I'm taking over for him. It have a, it have a double cap. If you see the top guys, have a double cap. It's got a natural feel. But so we'll go ahead. I'll guide him through it and see what you think. Uh, what do you think about the uh, the look of the cigar as of right now? I, uh, I like it. I'm ready to smoke a cigar. I did not get to smoke one last night, so I said, you know what, I'm going to wait till I get down here. I've uh, helped my buddy here a couple times do this room in here, so it's kind of nice to sit in here now eventually and, and smoke a cigar. I've gotten to a couple times, but not near enough. So, you could probably learn what not to do with me. I go smoke some cigars at a, a place and some people that are serious cigar smokers usually say, um, have you smoked the cigars much? And, and then they ask me, uh, you look like you're inhaling it. So I probably smoke totally wrong, but I do enjoy a cigar at the end of the day. So you can uh, watch me try to go through this to uh, cut it. I'm not sure, I like a deep V cut. It uh, opens it up a little more than a hole punch. Sometimes it makes my draw maybe too easy, but I do not like to uh, fight when I'm trying to get a pull off of a cigar. I like, I like an easier pull. So I'm gonna find out with uh, my DP cut. I think it is too small. I've not really, yes. So I don't think that's gonna fit in there you wanna, very well. You wanna try it's a, a little bit too small. So I mean, I might could do it. Maybe go for it and take a chance. But I don't want it to rip. I've had it rip the cigar right here before on me. So I think I'm gonna hole punch it. But I'll see what Mo thinks. It's up to you. I'm not into a V cut, as you all guys know me. I mean, I tried it. I never fell in love with it, but I mean, see, this, I can take a chance. But look, this, here's this what crazy, I run into. This crazy it, Alabama guy. You know what I mean? It, just, it would just V cut it there, not all the way. And sometimes it rips the cigar at the end, almost if you're not careful. It's not gonna work well, for him, guys, because this, you see, the opening in the cut. This is for a 50-56. This is a massive 70. But when you go in here, it's not gonna reach in. For it's gonna it it will cut it, but it's gonna destroy yeah, the cap, yeah, guys. Yeah. Then it's gonna fall apart. For this, it's gonna go go bye bye. We're gonna throw it a bone to the dog to the big Mac out there. What I suggest for him, he could do the bunchy thing. And I want the biggest hole possible diameter of the hole punch. You know, some of them are small. Yeah, you, wanna, cigar, you want me to do it? I'll, or I'll, are you gonna do? No, it? you can do it. That's fine. I prefer, well, I'm gonna I prefer go ahead and do it for him. 
But here, do me a favor, just moist the tip for a minute. I, that will give me a cleaner cut if you don't, I don't wanna. What do you think about the smell of the cigars, the taste of it as a, before you light it up? You know what, it reminds me of a real clean. Here we go. Uh, aroma, it does smell it. It smells a little bit like cleaner, lighter. Maybe a fresher is the uh, word. Let me us. just let me just get one thing out of the way. This uh, Bredomo and Mencio 70 Medora. I did smoke one or two before. I will talk to you guys more what I think. I want to see what you think about it. That will be unscripted. You know, I did my homework about it before. I reviewed it. It's on my YouTube channel, and soon enough, it's gonna be on the website. It's it's in the final progress another month or two maybe a couple of years from now will be up and rolling if I get the time to get to it but as you guys know with the whole thingy you see it it just did a, a hole in the middle it bunch it it, it it does you get as much as of the cigar uh, let's see take a draw out of it and see what if it's opened up for you that we yeah, get to me see that bigger diameter hole punch is almost as much surface area cut off as the deep V cut. Oh, but right. the smaller punch does not pull for me oh, as much let's as Go I take a, a, a buff out of it, draw and see what you think. Mm, no. Before you light it up, see what the, how you think about the draw. If it's easy, open, clogged, tight. No, it's actually uh, perfect. All it's right. not too light, but I can pull on it without I, it. I don't know, you want a match, you want a lighter? It you reminds like? me almost some hint of a pipe tobacco back in the day. Uh, yeah, he, here we go. He used to be a pipeline, right. so now he's uh, no. My dad smoked a pipe, so the old colonel. But you know, guys, which by, is Father's Day, so Happy Father's Day, technically. Happy uh, Father's Day, Mo. Happy, thank you, Happy Father to you, sweetie. Yeah. Where's my kiss? All right, I love you. You have to come with I me. Off I the love TV you too. Anyway, guys, uh, while he's lighting up his cigar, try to fight with it. I think the uh, you need a you need a yeah, bigger torch or something. Give me some something bigger. I'll give him the big boy. That's what you need for the big, big old monster. Listen, I used this before, and you can about damage a cigar with it if you're not careful. It's you could weld with it. Can he turn down any? Never mind. I'll just do it quickly. I don't, see, I, that's a lot of heat on there. That's enough. That's that. enough. Did it lit up yet? Let me light it up for you. You mind if I light it up for you? No, no. no I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pop Here, it. Here, let I me do it for you. Oh my gosh! You see, Listen, this like this, this butane is fuming, but now this is perfect. It's not too hard on him. It's not. You see that fume is not that good for you. Getting the heat going around, toasting it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, try, it, buddy. I need a little bit more. Look at the massive ring on the fire, guys. Look at this. Look at the beauty of this. Yeah. Yes, I inhaled some. I do. You feel like you're in cigar heaven with this mix aroma between the big block and this immense. The pull on it is really, really easy, smooth. Yeah. It's got a clean taste to it. I like it. I like to be able to sit back and enjoy a cigar. I'm mean, gonna know once I like this. All right, I'm guys, we'll, we'll go back to this big old flathead 770 big block. This guy's, it's a massive, it's a big old monster, you know. It's so far as compared to my Scorpio 770 Camacho and to the big old Kurga, uh, Gurkha, uh, the. Sinister 770 or the 871 I smoked the other day and even this go with the GFR 770 and even the GFR uh, Lunatic man, this is in the same family, but this one is amazing so far What I get from a look look at the color of the ash is solid solid white it looked very thick uh, the, the smoke flow perfect you know so far I love the aroma guys you know this is uh, 
It's an outstanding cigar. I mean, I did some draw. The draw is very, very amazing. I'm surprised I never had it before yet. I'm really kicking myself in, you know what? Because I've been having this one sitting in my humidor for the last three weeks. I believe you gave it to me the last time we, and uh, but I decided today to go ahead and do it because this has been smacking me in the head, looking at me for, this is an amazing cigar so far, guys. I'm thoroughly enjoying mine. I know uh, I've been waiting for a cigar, so this is wonderful. And let's say this before we start any further. I should have said at the beginning. This is for this video, the purpose of it for educational only. In no shape or any way is for under, promoting any underage smoking at all. The King, the Ash Man, the Ash Nation, do not control any underage smoking. If you're not 21, do not even try it. If you don't smoke, don't smoke. If you want to try it because me said, go ahead, I love it. I love it for myself and it's not for you. C cigar, you, you know, it's as you guys, I'm going to say it. It's a love of my life. It's it's a good for the hard day at work, relaxation, and everything else. But get this out of the way, all this mumbo jumbo crap out of the way. For now, we'll get back to my special guests over here, Bama from Alabama, the big old cigar, shiny. Let me see, shiny yep. head smoker. You see? I, mean, I, I didn't polish mine. Yeah, but everybody mine, asked mine me is not polished to. today, but I have to. But hey, you know. But you know, for me, guys, this is smell great uh great smoke fabulous taste i love the taste of it it's not a flavor cigar again it's not flavor it's handmade it's a uh, box press shape you know it's not a normal cigar it's the box press it's like a coffin style whatever you call it there's so many names and meaning to it but you know guys it's uh uh you know i don't think anyone if anyone will attempt to make a 770 box shape press cigar, a CEO, we made it well done. They have these in six, seven, and I believe in five. Five by seven, uh, five by 70, six by 70, and I believe 770, the one we try in here. And they all fabulous. I mean, I read. I did some work about it. I read more about it. It's everyone rave about it. Everyone swear by him. Everyone in love with him, and everything else. And again, this guy, this is a Connecticut rapper with a Connecticut Habano uh, binder and a Nicaraguan filler. But you know, so far, I'm kicking myself why I never had it before. I told you, enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, he mentioned it to me a couple of times, but I just been stuck with my two favorite you know the Camacho and the Gurkha Sinister but now it look like I'm gonna be adding a third big monster to the list and this one guys in any way or meaning is not a cheap cigar at all this is in the 1250 range at your local smoke shop if you do not mind and you could get them as low as I find them as low as eight dollar online if you buy them in a bigger quantity of a box of 24 or 25 they'll come down to about eight eight fifty each that's not a bad deal and look like the king will be going that route after this cigar and i want look what i noticed so far this cigar is slow burning but that mean it's gonna be a long long night for i gotta be up by seven in the morning but who cares this is a well enjoyable but now we'll let the the honor of the minute, the speaker of the minute, you know, what do you think about the band, uh, Mr. Bama? So, uh, listen, I, I collect some bands and I have a dark table. It's like an old uh, telephone table almost. And this would be great for the collection because I like the way the uh, gold and the black, it pops out. It's a... Uh, I mean... It's gonna be cool, actually. It's gonna go. Let me ask in you a question. Let me ask you a question. The band, you give it bo poor, good, excellent, fancy. What do you give it? Um, it's definitely not poor. It's kind of. It's pretty fancy. It's kind of bold. I like it. It's okay. like a, a light cigar with a bold wrapper. Right. 
This stuff, really, to be honest with you, it's gonna look good, perfect, because well, my table's. Well, when I straight. when I list this cigar on the site, I'm gonna have my review on his review on it. Now, when I told you the color looked natural dark, uh, do you agree or you disagree about the color of the wrapper? Um, it's it's natural dark. I was looking at the leaf, the bigger cigars. I don't. This is a little bit larger than what I normally smoke. But usually when I get with my buddy here, we sit down for a little while, so I enjoy it down here. The leaf is pretty. I've seen some prettier ones with the, uh, like the veins that look in the leaf. I've seen them pop out a little bit more, but it is look like a whole leaf wrapped around. I do. It, it's pretty. The, what, how the wrapper think, goes against okay. the what background. Do you, what do you think about the construction of this cigar? What do you think? Is it well made? Is it is it little? What do you think about the way how the cigar feel I'm not look so far? The way the wrapper is, it uh, I probably got a little bit too hot to begin with for some people. But do you it's, give it? It's do made, you give it okay? Do, do you give it okay? Well, half half, not good or something else? Um, I, I want to say I give it like eighty five percent or so because a little bit of it. This type of cigar, it's a little bit thinner. You know, some of the tobacco is like a little bit thinner to me, and some of it kind of flakes off. I guess this one's not doing it. That's mean he's giving it half and a half on the construction of the cigar. I give it about eighty percent, whatever that. I know that's probably not. An he's gonna go half and a half. So how this the, is my first review with you. Okay, how it's, the cigar feels? So I'm not I'm perfect. Gonna, I'm I gonna not perfect. I gotta have to follow a script. Why don't I have you to take follow, it? No, 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 I'm not taking it out. I don't touch another man's cigar. Okay, well. That's good. Uh, I draw the line here. Well, I thought uh, maybe for video you, you'd if you run, If you run your finger around it, how the cigar, the, the, the wrapper feels? It's smooth. It, uh, it is good. Like it's all tied up here, but it wants to try to get it a little bit loose right now. No, loose because of the heat. Is, is, it's right. softening. That's normal. Yeah. Well, okay. He gave the the wrapper, uh, he gave it a smooth, smooth, soft, smoothy and soft to it. Look, it's burning good around it. Uh, when you draw, is the draw still smooth? Uh, yes. Is the draw smooth, easy, tight, hard, blocked? What do you think of the smoke? I want to draw. I want to give that more toward the excellent, like one of the best ratings you've got because the pull on it is absolutely wonderful. I don't know what size punch that is. Smooth. Okay. Now let me see. What do you think about the ashes so far? The color of it, the the thickness, the. Um, it's uh burning well around it. So far, the ash is holding on. I've been throwing it around a little bit too much. We could come back to that maybe in a minute when it's still, you're a little ahead of me. Okay, guys, it's burning you know, good. the ash is so far, he loved the ash, but we're gonna give it, he's saying good, good ash for him. Uh, listen, guys, we'll go back to my flathead. So far, I got about an inch, inch and a quarter of solid smoke. That's where well made, well, you know, look, look how solid it is. Uh, a good cigar you could know by the ash. You don't want to flick the ashes. You want to let the ash. The more ash you have, the more the cigar run cooler, burn better, and give it the evenly look, even burn. So far, this cigar is burning on a 85% even. You know you can't get anything better as of right now. It will get better down the road. Uh, Mr. Bama, what do you think about the? The aroma of the cigar, you know, is it you get you love the smell I, of it? I, I like it. It's been a minute since I smoked a cigar. I've not been too spoiled in the last few days. So I'm sure I will change throughout this sub video and be a little more relaxed and laid back. I'm sure I'm breaking all the rules, but I just getting in cigar mode. But uh the pull on it is wonderful. Um the ash is burning good. It's I don't know how long it is. Maybe uh he got about no, you don't have an inch. If that's an inch, we're all in trouble. Uh, let me see. Well, I listen, I have to, uh, you know, measure this. Oh, okay. This is the wrong measurement tools. Let's see, guys. Uh, she. An inch right there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Let's see. He got about a half an inch, I see. No. Three quarter. Three quarter. Yeah. Three he got about three quarter. quarter. Me, I said about an inch and a mm. half. I'm an inch and a three and a quarter. You we know, did, we didn't do the diameter of this one. Didn't use the gauge on this. Uh, one. This is a 770. We already got yeah, it. Yeah, already. It's a 770. It's it's a big old monster. This is from the King Mo collection, guys. 
this is I only give these to a special friends you have to be so special you have to be in the elite VIB list of the King Kimo list but for now guys listen uh, uh, the Perdomo I smoked it before what I thought about it me personally it had a great flavor very very easy draw good ash and long burn I mean it burned very it's not it's not slow and it's not fast it's burnt in between and for me it had a wonderful aroma to it and the uh, cigar burned evenly as evenly as as possible for me the cigar he's smoking were medium bodied cigar uh, I, it, I, yeah I would agree with this yes no I strongly agree with it I'm not a cigar analyst but um, I'm enjoying it and the more it burns the more uh, intense it becomes so I'm, I'm excited to get halfway three quarters down it, or at least check in with me in a little bit because uh, I, I, I love the pull all right guys I don't want him to take all the show here heck with him he's a special guest but who I give an F about him right now but we'll get back back to this my new love here I uh, this flat head 770 C E C A O C A O flat head 770 big block it's like a big old Chevy block. You can't get him any bigger than this. It's a 770, guys. It's a 770 Gordo uh, Maduro style. It's a 770. Uh, so far, this guys, the, the, the strings of it, what I'm getting is about full. I give it medium, medium full bodied cigar. It's a medium full. The draw is very easy, uh, the ash is awesome, the smoke output, I love the way how the smokes, you know, I'm in love with the aroma, like, you know, you're smoking this between my cigar and his cigar, it feels like you into aroma heaven, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, once again, I'm in love, look, look at this ash, guys, look, look look at we almost about an inch and three quarter this is an awesome awesome very very thick ashes the more the ash the better the cigar burn if you guys see look at the cigar burning as evenly you don't want to flick your ashes as much as you can because the the ash cool off the leaf make it burn even and do not make it burn that funky way for you know once again I this this Cigar is still running. It's not even running hot. Look, look where's my hands. Right by the... F and I'm not even burned. It's cool. Running a cool temperature like this is what the ash is doing. Cooling it off to make it burn evenly. Uh, for now, guys, we're going to take a quick break uh, for our sponsor. I really don't have a, a sponsors, uh, but look, uh, you know, I'm not gonna touch your cigar. You see, guys, look at this ash too. Um, you know, we're gonna do something different. Look, look at the two ashes. I mean, b they both look the same. The uh, this feel a little bit thicker ash, uh, but you know, this is two different style cigars. So now we're gonna take a quick break, guys, and I'll be right back in a minute. Well, All right, guys, we're back. Uh, as you see, guys, I'm still on my big block 770, and the ashes, I got a massive two and a half inch ash. And this ash, look, guys, it is That's good. fabulous. This is, yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and flick it, and it's not even breaking yet, guys. But I'm gonna wow. go as far as I can. I love the ash. I'm gonna try to take a still picture of this ash with the help of my son. Why don't you go ahead and take me a picture of this ash with your phone? Well, Bama, what do you think of your cigar you're smoking so, so far? I unfortunately lost my ash. I saw it getting ready to break, but I was tossing it around a little bit with somebody else. So, um, it did break off, but it was absolutely wonderful. The cigar is just getting better and better and better and better. But mine made it a, an inch and a half probably before. It just broke off. A it just broke off after I took the picture, but that's good. But here's what I'm going to show you guys. Uh, this ash, it fell off, but I'm touching it. It's still 
as solid as possible. But this is a that sign. Is a ash. That's a good ash. This is what, as you know, all guys soon, and with my buddy Brian, I've seen so many ashes, and this is one of them, guys. You know, this is ash, uh, King Mode Ash Man. Back to you guys with uh, unscripted video. Really, there's no scripted. I give it to get away. I want it. Uh, I'm not one of these uh, big old bloggers, whatever. I don't want to be. I never ever want to be. If I become that way, guys, tell me you're changing your ways. But guys, uh, I made a big old mess. The boss at the house is going to yell at me, but hey. Uh, this this 770 flathead, guys, it's a massive. It's a big old monster. It's going to go definitely into my humidor. I'm going to buy more and more and keep it there. I don't, did I even say this is an, an, an immenso? An immenso? An immenso. Immenso. Immenso 70, yeah. And it's just getting better and better. I know I'm probably not doing a perfect, he probably needs, you probably need to do this, your own video of just this cigar. What are these? But it is, uh, I'm enjoying this wonderful, still pulling great. Guys, I forgot to mention one thing. With this flathead 770, uh, I'm getting a taste of flavor from, from the beginning. It's got a, a, a hint of spice. It's a little bit spice with a uh, woody, earthy taste to it. Like, you know, you know, if you guys, I don't know if you guys taste uh, earthy skin, uh, it got a woody, earthy taste plus a small hint of sweet. It's just got the perfect sweetness. You know, when you got a little bit of salt and it's like got a hint of sweet to it. I love it and it's getting better with every puff, every smoke I get it. The, the more and more I go down, the flavor is constant. It's the draw is still the same. The burning as perfect as you want it to be. I mean, guys, the rubber is still running smooth. It's hard here, it's soft here because of the heat. Eating through it slowly is making it soft, but still look, look how was my finger close to the edge and not burning. It's not even, it's cold. It's running very cool, and that's what I love it. So far, the rubber is still intact, no crackage, no peeling, and I love this. This is what you get when from, uh, you know, like top of the line cigars, you know, like my, my others, you know. Uh, so far, guys, I loving it. I wish if I smoked it before, but hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not regretting it, but I love it. This is definitely gonna be on on the top five favorites. Camacho will always be my number one. The Gurkha, uh, 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 Sinister, and this Flathead 770 Big Block. So we'll go back to Mr. Bama, our special guest here. Uh, uh, one more thing guys, tomorrow I'm going to be on Facebook Live, we're just going to jabber and talk and be goofy as much as we can. Uh, I'm still enjoying my cigar, it's it's a real, real, real light taste, it does taste um, woodsy, earthy a little bit, but other than that it's real clean, light, burning cigar actually to me, it is not a strong cigar, maybe a medium, I'm saying like a medium. Uh, this Maybe. cigar, when I smoke, I didn't get, uh, I didn't miss the Bama, I never got any hint of flavor in it. I never get, I couldn't get any hint of sweet, earth spices. For me, I smoked it before. I love it. Uh, this is one of my favorite cigars too, but uh, it's in a 770, you know, but I still like these odd shapes. As I told you guys, I'm still in a quest to find that. Uh, the Asylum 13 April Fool's Day, the 990. I'm still on a quest for it, so for whatever reason, I was in a pack order, like anything else in this lovely nation of us. Everything in a pack order, everything unavailable because of this corona, the one we got out of it two, two years ago, and we still fighting to get our beloved stuff, whatever we need for our daily essential life. For me, the Asylum 13 uh, April Fool's Day is an essential. I can't get it, can't find it. I'm disappointed because I want to try it. I might be disappointed, but we'll get to that at that time. Right now, it's CEO Flathead 770 time and uh, Bedromo and Saint, uh, 
In Mencio? In, in Mencio, 70s, Medora, Churchill style, my buddy over here smoking. I picked it up for him for my special collection because it's a special cigar and I know he will enjoy it. I'm absolutely uh, loving it. Here I go with Ash Round 2 starting up, but it's burning good. I've got a little bit of unevenness, but it straightens right back out. It's, uh, it's nice when somebody gives you a cigar and you can sit back and enjoy it. So we do trade cigars back and forth. I'm very fortunate enough to have the Ash Man as my friend because he, uh, hope your wife's not listening. He gives some nice gifts sometimes. So thank you very much. And let me be on the she video. She get her own gifts too, man. What the heck's wrong with you? I mean, she get the green gifts. We get the, we get the small gifts. She get the green ones. But guys, as I told you, the one he's smoking, I did smoke it before. My, I had to look at my personal notes on it. Uh, for me, it was a, the drawer, very smooth, wonderful smoke, wonderful aroma. And, you know, for me, this, the, the ash were as thick as you wanted. The constant, even draw in every draw and everything else. Uh, they both get busy with that doggy over there. But Listen, he is the dog's trying to take the show and he can have it. It's fine. Max is over here. I, uh, last time I came over, I wound up staying the night, and the dog stayed next to me. He's big, by the way. Here, guys, uh, let's show it to you. I mean, heck, you want to be in a bit? Oh, uh, he's gone. He's gone. Hey, hey, Max, here is Max. Here's Max right here. So this is the big man. What do you think we, about? We, we all bonded, smoke a cigar. We bonded here, last time. You want to smoke? Here. Anyway, guys, this is King Mo the Ash Man. Tell me, guys, what you think. Tell me, though, what you guys, if you want like to see more guests, more interruption, more un uh, unscripted, you know, just normal people talking about normal cigars, jabbing and jabbing and not knowing what they're saying or what they're talking. You know, I hopefully I'm not insulting these uh, guru heads out there with the cigar nations, you know, but hey, this King Mo. Uh, tell me guys what you think, tell me if I talk too much again, but for me, talking too much is never, that's you just, we're doing it for fun, doing it to educate some other people who's looking to smoke something. Again guys, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoyed like any other video, go ahead and comment, like. Do you, uh, do you have the times? Do you do times like how long it's been burning? Because I did not happen to look at the clock. Anybody look at the clock when we started? Yeah, so far, you, so far you're about running about 55 minutes. 55 minutes? Yeah. Wow, so this is going to be this is a three hour cigar. No, this is about two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Mine is the same. This cigar I give it about two to two and a half hours because of the slow. I give it about two hours, maybe two hour plus. Okay. Well, it's a on. slow burning, you know, but. You know, guys, again, as I told you guys, this cigar is fantastic. What I think about it, it's probably one of the more, uh, more popular cigars out there. Uh, the 770 is one known. It's good, uh, you know. From the time I lit it up to now, the, I fell in love with it. Immediately taking, the flavor is awesome. The aroma is medium, full body cigars. I'm in love with it guys, uh, the draw again is excellent, constructed very well with constant uh, the, uh, the flavor, the draw uh, for the whole smoke time. I mean as I told you guys I get a taste of spice, earthy and sweetness taste to it too and it's all well balanced and it's not getting anything less than that. Even. The smoke, oh, but I love it. I love the burning, guys. Like, I can't take more, talk more about how even it is. You know, and, and it's running, it's not even running hot, it's running cold. Like someone, look, look, I'm my finger all the way in the edge, and I'm not even burning. But guys, can't talk more and more about it. This one, definitely gonna be on my notebook. It's gonna be on, so far guys, if I have to rate this cigars, this is a five, five star. Would I smoke it again? I will. Would I buy it again? Definitely I will. And this time I'm gonna buy it by bigger quantity to save money and enjoy it more and more. This is, when I make this my everyday smoke, uh, 
I don't think so because I have my Scorpion and my Gurkha. Uh, this is my everyday cigar. This is could become an everyday cigar for me too. Uh, price wise is awesome. But, um, we're gonna go back to bald headed over there. I'm still here. I'm enjoying my uh, cigar. It's uh, I want to say the more I smoke it, it gets a little bit peppery, maybe just a little bit. It's getting stronger, maybe spicy, a little hint of it in the background. But other than that, it seems like it's just getting a little bit stronger. Yeah, and uh, the I don't taste a whole lot of like different. But here's guys, flavors. I got a question for you. If someone give you a cigar to try from his special private collection, as I did here, me and him arguing about the band. He's saying he is not giving me the band. He's keeping it for himself. Listen, you gave me the cigar. You get to keep the band. That, yeah, I have another cigar that I still have. It's been in my humidor now for a minute. And uh, he said, I want the band. But he said it right off the bat when he gave it to me. Here's the cigar. I want the band when you're done with it. So when I smoke that one, uh, he gets the band. But this one, no. You gave me a cigar. You didn't say here to the band. It doesn't uh, come with it. It's free. You could keep the band as long as you give me the cigar back. I think we're really a bit of a standoff when we do um, all these cigar wrappers, whoever does what with it. But I have a, a, a big plan with my oh. wrappers, and this one's going to go great. I like it, the cigars that pop on a brown background. Once again, guys, we'll start talking, talking, and I forgot today. Today, guys, I'm drinking again with my coffee. And today, big shout out to Death Wish Coffee. I love this mug. I got my, and he got his. We're sponsoring him. This, this. This is the original mug I got from them. This is, they're not sponsoring me in any way, but I love their coffee. I use it for my, my K-Cup, and they have it as loose in a bond. You could make it a normal coffee. This is the 2022 style mug. This is a, a 16 ounce mug, guys. Make, you know. I don't know what size mine is, but um, I could see 12, Death Wish buying us cigars in the future. <laughs> I do like Death Wish coffee. I kind of pushed it on Mo our friendship back and forth uh this 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 cigar goes good with coffee it goes good with cold beverages it goes good whatever you guys like to pair it with you know if you into alcoholic beverages it's yours lots of cigar smokers they believe uh, a, a fine wine fine alcohol goes hand to hand with cigars for me as you guys know i don't i don't drink for me, coffee, something cold, juice, apple, orange juice, 100%. It do the trick for me. It do the trick here for my buddy. He's smoking the coffee too. And he is breaking in my new uh, my new ashtray. This uh, is mandatory. I love these. You put your, I put my cell phone on them. I probably can't see it. It's one of the big stand-up. Can I pick it up first? Uh, it's one of the big stand-up ashtrays. They're, I think they're a little bit pricey. I don't personally don't have one. I forgot I which brand it. name. I think this Ugly Boy. What's the name here? Can anyone see it? I uh, it's, I think the Ugly Boy Ashley. I don't forgot the name of it exactly. It had a name. Watch the copy. You don't want to follow it. I love it. I put my my drink stinky. on there. Oh, it's stinky. It's a stinky Ashley. Perfect. That what is the name of it. This, I this. fit right in with it. Oh, Baldy Bama with a ashtray. It's got my name on it. Stinky. Yeah, he, he got a stinky. stinky. Perfect. You know, listen, I'll take a stinky ashtray, a good cigar, and, and a as, cup of death place. As you guys know, this cigar so far, I've uh, been smoking for about, this video been gone about 45 minutes. We bought it for 10, 15 minutes earlier. And so far, I never had to do any touch up to it. I don't have to light it. This cigar, I'm taking my time smoking it. That's how we're supposed to. You guys don't want to keep. I'm smoking mine too much. Puff it too much that we are gonna inhale and if you inhale too much it's gonna carbon monoxide then it, uh, second oxide of carbonide whatever I'm not good about the chemistry stuff is gonna make you lightheaded dizzy and once again you don't want to smoke a cigar in an empty stomach guys you always want to have something in your stomach because they are very strong you might want to flip the ashes. listen my ash has gotten long I'm on an empty stomach and I'm smoking it too fast and inhaling too much but I'm loving my cigar so far, it doesn't want to come off. I well. love, I I know, but uh, with his edge too, guys. Look, look how thick and solid it is. 
I love this is a good sign of a good ash this is what ash nation all about this is what King Mo the ash man guys sooner sooner size you know I'll be ordering my new t-shirt as I told you guys the first batch were a bust but again we're not gonna talk more about it the company made up lived up to their mistake they refunded all my money and now I'm in, in contact with another company to make us the right way, the right style. Of, uh, we're gonna go. I love the way how these two cigar with the combined aroma. I love the aroma in this room here, in the cave, in the main cave. You know, it's feel like you're in a, in a aroma heaven. I don't know if this is the right term to use, but I love my exhaust fan running full blast, taking as much as it can, and uh, even. Big Mac over there enjoying it. He's sitting and enjoying it. He's getting his treat and he's not minding it. You know, he's looking, giving us the puppy look. Where's my cigar? But hey, uh, this King Mode Ash Man, guys, I don't want to keep talking more and more. I'm going to leave some final thought for my buddy before I come and end, the ever, end everything. And uh, you with me. All right, guys, we're back again here. Uh, let's talk more about the cigar, Mr. Bama from Alabama. The funky man, big old cigar connoisseur, aficionado. I don't think he's like me. He's. I don't think cigar is the love of his life. I don't think so. But for me, people may agree with me, and I still love my family. Eh, I don't know about that yet. Listen, he, he, you can say that, but uh, where, where I work, we got a brand new humidor, so I had to learn to, to get the humidor set up. Took days. Um, I get better and better cigars. I brought some cigars down for my buddy. I'm sure he'll wind up doing a review on them, probably. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm not a perfect rater. If I was going to rate this from what? Well, uh, one to five? One to five. What do you give it? I'm going to say a four. There's very few cigars. When I when I think of a five, I think of the super top of the line. Now, my last why, cigar on why, Earth. Why do you give it a four? Um, I like it because it's burning clean. It's been burning now about 50 minutes, somewhere around there, I'm guessing. Uh, the ash has been doing good. I've ashed it twice in, what, 50 minutes. That's pretty good to ash a cigar. And I like the flavor. It's, um, it's a clean cigar. Sometimes if I haven't had a cigar in a couple of days, I want something that's got uh, a little bolder or... A, a flavor that I can go to the spicier and this is oh. kind of uh, maybe a little bit bland so I, All right. four. I guess the reason he's giving it four because he's not getting that much flavor out of it this the, that's uh, uh, this is what you get from uh, the cigar he's smoking is the correct one all the way around the correct one rubber well, when I go into a walk-in humidor this will be up the, the flatheads up there I've smoked that one a few times I thoroughly enjoyed it I thought about you and thought you would definitely enjoy it it's kind of a treat something different box press was not my favorite to begin with but I'm starting to like them more um when I think of a five I'm talking King about the last cigar man, baby. it's got to be the best of the uh, best of the best the, the cigar he's smoking the Brodomo Immensio 70 Medora Churchill 770 this cigar goes between eight and ten dollars at your normal uh, smoke shop. Again, guys, you could get them online, maybe as close as possible to that price, or maybe cheaper. Is the the way when I say cheaper, guys, the bigger quantity you buy, the the cheaper was the cigar. Well, I guess be. burning cool. My wrapper's still tight as it can be. It's not loose. It's not. It's burning cool. For me, that cigar, I smoked it before. I mean, I've got uh, my fingers right up there to it. It's not hot at all. Yeah, this cigar is about 8 to $10. This is about nine fifty when I I believe so. Uh, they're running, well, I bought it from one of the local stores around here. We're not going to mention their name, Wild Bill. Uh, but they're running a, a special on some cigars like buy some and get one something free if, uh, if you do the math if you buy the package deal they have uh it's like ten dollars but when did all the math you buy five you get what well, two free or one free uh they're running a, a special deal for this weekend only for the father day special uh it, it come up to about eight dollars because you're getting one free but technically this one was about eight this is ten fifty about ten dollars i think i have yeah. when i buy them i think they're about 12 or 
thirteen. I could be wrong. Yeah, but they're running a special on him. I do not know what their full price. The last time I bought one of these, uh, I smoked it before. I smoked the, the sister cigar of it. The, and you said this is a this is a Churchill. I yeah. forget this is a Churchill. Yeah, uh, I smoked the sun grown uh, one, and it's lovely. It's awesome. The only thing with the sun grown. I give it about four and a half at that time, but it's still top one of my absolute favorite cigars. Enjoy I it. fell in love with the rubber. The rubber for me is excellent. The look, you're not getting the, the rubber. The, I, I have to. Don't worry. Uh, the gold, the the gold color of the wrappers, the gold everything. That's why I, like the, it. The, I love it. You know, it stands out. This is what makes the cigar stands out. I like it's, the gold on the the darker background. It pops out. I like it. This rapper's doing great. This is, I I'm not giving it excellent, but it it for the for the cigar this rapper is as as I say to you guys, this is an uh, the rapper is excellent for me. I mean, uh, uh, because the design. If you guys look at it here, it's like you guys into the automotive. It look like a big old block. That what it is. It's a big block. You know. Uh, you know, it's a big block engine, you know, you can see the style here and with the word CAO It's lovely guys, you know uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my final thought about this flathead. I give it five star as I told you guys I'm in love with it all the way around the aroma The constant draw the constant flavor the flavor never stop never ceases to amaze me from the beginning to now uh, a slow burning cigar this is make it a special special one um, I'll buy it again I will smoke it again I did I know I did say I was not my everyday smoke because of the timing guys you know because it takes two hours sometimes you don't have two hours of your life you know between the stuff you have to do on relaxation but cigar is a relaxing time the time it shouldn't be an object here when you want to sit down and enjoy a cigar who cares how long it takes as long as you're willing, it's 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 the the joyable, it's the love of uh, love of it, you know. But so far, I love this one. I'm in love with it, and once again, I'm gonna keep saying it, and he is gonna get his head gonna get bigger and bigger because I told you so. You should have tried it before. You should not let it sit in your humidor for that long. But guys, uh, me personally, when I buy a cigar, I do not like to smoke it right away. I always like to sit in the humidor for a week at least to get seasoned to get just to the right temperature because when they ship them they have them this humidor they ship them into you but I like it to sit for a minute to get used to the atmosphere to the temperature to everything else but for me I do not like to smoke the cigars right away I I like it to sit for a week but I think when me left it sitting for two three weeks it made it age make it taste make it feel better but this is me personally. I, I agree with you when you're bringing a cigar. Like I brought some in my travel humidor and I did not have the water flow in it. So just took two hours in the humidor, uh, in the traveling humidor down here, I immediately got them out and like gave them to the hatch man here and said, will you please put these in their nice little home? Cause I agree they do need to uh, eat balance out with back to normal, the perfect uh, humidity. Um, this is, a long cigar I agree you do have to do like a special occasion like this where I can just sit back drink coffee talk and it burns for three if it burns for two hours two and a half hours that's fine I'm here that's what I'm here to do is smoke cigars so it's perfect you, you're still waking up at eight in the morning I don't care we got a full schedule ahead of us I got to work on the sprinkler I'm gonna clean the whole driveway my my daughter have her friend coming over so I'm gonna make sure the driver is spotless clean uh, most likely there is a honeydew list somewhere I did not know about it yet most likely I feel like when I come she can make one up too real quick yeah. she can put me to plus work. I don't care I'm gonna try to throw some steak on the grill and some cousin Mac cousins you know but some Mac cousin on the grill some hot dogs and every time I say I'm gonna put your cousin on the steak he look at me like okay I'm gonna show you one day I'm gonna put you on the steak and we'll see what how mm -hmm. you gonna like it but guys, uh, I don't want to take more and more out of your time. Uh, once again, I this is going to be one of the longest video I did. It's almost we're coming up on an hour recording. Uh, uh, 
It's what a pleasure having you over here, Mr. Bam. And now I'm gonna kick you out and take my rapper out of this. I mean, for the video, I said I don't want it, but once we hang out this video, I'm gonna, if you guys see him tomorrow with the black eyes, you guys know the reason, because he was not willing to give up the rapper. Listen, I just brought you uh, one, two, three, three, oh, oh, three yeah. cigars that oh. you don't have. That we ha we I got where uh, I work. I try to get the human door better and better. So occasionally I get a cigar that he hasn't had. So I try my best to bring him some and remember him because he doesn't forget me, obviously. No. So he's not getting the wrapper. Let's mention he brought me he brought me a special cigar. I never tried. I did try the Asylum, guys. You know, I did Asylum 13. Uh, he brought me which one? Uh, it's a it's a Perdo Ash ben. Ashton. No, no, you brought me an Asylum Pandemonium. 13. Ashton. Pandemonium. 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 I think that's a nine inch. Maybe when we uh, cut out, maybe we get back on video. Since we talked about it, you can show it to them or whatever. But... It's in my humidor. I'm not gonna grab it. It's all the way yeah, at the bottom. Do a video bottom, on it. bottom. But he's, he's not like... getting the wrapper. I, I, he, I didn't say I want my wrappers back. You could have it. It's huge. I, it's a I billboard. Have, I have a nine inch. I have, yeah. I have uh, Asylum 13 wrappers. For me, it's, we're not talking about Asylum right now. But for me, Asylum. If you're listening to me, you could do better on your effing rappers. This rapper is for your name, for your reputation, for the size of your cigar. I like it. It's different. It's not doing you no know, judgment. But guys, this is what he brought. Ah, uh, this camera I gotta. Okay, here, here. Ashton Pandemonium. But it's Asylum 13. Is it? It's not Ashton. Oh. And this sucker is. What is that? Lord, I don't know. Nine inch? Nine inch. This is a nine inch by... It's a pretty big what cigar. What size is this here? Six. What size is this? I can't see that. I have to get some glasses and get all my eyesight going. 68. All right, 68. guys. This is, we talk about it later. This is uh, a 68 inch range. This is a 68 range. This a monster. This is what the, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Presidente XL. The nine incher, this is a Presidente XL. It's not President, they call it Presidente XL because it's a, it's an XL size. It's, it's been sitting in my humidor for all oh, yeah, five, been, six months. But this is gonna be smoked later. I got some other cigars we're gonna do later, but this is not the time for it right now. But this, uh, when we are still doing these two cigars over here, guys. You're not getting the wrapper. I don't, I don't need the wrappers. You can shove it, you know, where, where the <laughs> sun didn't shine. But, you know, guys, these two cigar is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can say gorgeous about cigar. They yes, are, you can. The time's gorgeous. Are, listen, guys, I'm not going to use the word gorgeous. I'm going to use something else. Uh, they are sexy. I love it. You know, they're very, very sexy, very, very pleasant to smoke. I smoke both of them. I'm in love with both, and I'm, I'm happy to hear. I can say I smoke both. I've had that one. I think I've smoked two of those. Yeah, I thought about you, right? but you have to have a minute to smoke it. It's, it wasn't the cheapest cigar in the store. I can tell you that. All right, guys. For now, uh, this is King Mo the Ash Man. Uh, go ahead. Check it out. Uh, this video will be uploaded most likely tomorrow. Or I don't think today I have the time because I'm gonna go ahead and write up all these notes, code put them up, and make sure this time I don't goof up with some of the product to my attention. Some of this spelling error. I may uh, look like an idiot with some of the stuff I spelled correct and correctly. When I when they pointed out to me, I felt like oops, you know. But hey. I, this is what makes me maybe normal. I don't know. I'm not normal. I'm crazy, you know, because I love smoking cigars. I like to talk about cigars. I drink my cigars with coffee. My um, black, black with coffee. That's, that's wish coffee. I forgot. Speaking of which, name. I need a refill. I'm gonna go. It's gonna cost here. you five dollar. I just leave the wrapper. A refill, refill for tomorrow. Uh, anyway, tomorrow morning we'll have more. But for now, guys, 
you have any final thought? Anything you want to say? You want no, to I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. It's been burning a while, and it's a perfect pair. They're both burning great. They're both about the same length. I mean, yes, I do like to uh, smoke the same cigar when I sit down, so this is different to smoke. Both of us smoking a different cigar. Sometimes when you're smoking the same one, you get feedback off the flavor and stuff, but I, I'm not an expert to tell you everything all about it. I know I am enjoying this cigar. It's uh, burning great. As he guys mentioned earlier, as I guys told you more before, I was against box press shaped cigar. Uh, every time I see him, I said, no, the look, the shape, I, don't, I might not feel good, but guys, this one feel good in the hand. I love the way how it feel. I like the way for me, it's an excellent, it feel good in your mouth while you're smoking it. Let's keep it PG-13 guys, okay, let's not, I don't want to hear that funky comment, uh, but this feel awesome. For me, uh, this is my ideal size, and 70. Also, next on the list is the spark plug. They make a spark plug, a smaller, like, knob little cigar, and I have had uh, two or three of them, and I'm waiting on him to try one. Did you say us? Never mind. Oh, I forgot. Another said, car part, a spark plug. Th this is a, a family show, guys. He said a spark plug. I was thinking about something else. <clears throat> but we're going to keep it this way, guys. For now, listen, guys. The website should be, I was when I say a year or two, I was kidding with you guys. It's in the final stage. There is some correction have to be made to it. But we are, the issue I'm having with the website, again, I'd like to keep you guys updated, is this video because the way I post them on YouTube, then I'm trying to embed them into my site. I'm having a hard time because of the age restriction. YouTube is not allowing me because of the way how I'm doing it to save bandwidth and room and space. Is I'm having a hard time making them blend my website directly. For I just finally uh, invested on a in a photo uh, not photo a video gallery where it allow me to embed them in my site and still playing them without losing any uh, resolution making everything look as awesome as could be and once I get through that hurdle the website will be up and running and one more there's a couple quick tweaks have to be done to it but after that it's gonna be we're gonna be going live soon uh, kingmo.com is the gonna be the domain name uh, you're gonna have pictures, uh, videos, some quick tutorial about Agosta guys filler buying the wrappers as you guys know the wrappers is the outside the filler is what's fill up the whole cigars from the inside and the, uh, the binder is the one hold the whole filler together and the wrapper is the pretty uh, leave the one you see the first thing you lay your eye on and you fall in love with or you don't fall in love with and the band as you guys all know the band is the the artwork or the thing on the cigar and you always add the respect to the cigar you try to hold it from the band guys you do not disrespect it try to be nice to it you know that's you know try to hold it and be easy and gentle as possible you can on the cigar you know from we talk more and more today. We just felt like it's been a minute since I did anything. But my ash is getting long again, still burning good. The band is not loose yet. You know, it heats up in the band. Sometimes it comes off a little bit easier. Uh, I just tried to break the rules and flick it off, and it didn't come off. So it's holding strong. The ashes are really holding. Yeah, really uh, when you want to flick up the ash, you don't want to do it. You don't want it wrong. You want to go around right. the lighter edge and let the, just the ash tree do the work. If See, it's not fall off, don't worry about it. That's me. It's still it's time for it to, to sit and rest. Out. Actually, for a second. By the way, guys, for now, we're gonna end up this video. And uh, I'm gonna take a couple of puff, let smoke fill up the screen, and shut it off. And me and him, we're gonna knock it about the uh, the band and see who's gonna win. I got a feeling he will win. I can accidentally hand you the cigar and forget about it. You can always take it. But look at the ring of the fire, guys. I'm a love. Look, look at that. Look at this lovely red colors of the ash of the the fire. Look at that. Everything is as perfect as it could be. For guys, for now. I'll give it two thumbs up for the flat for the flathead big block, and I think he agreed with me. He gave his maybe yeah. two thumbs up. They're both. Uh, they're great. It's both great cigars. Uh, 
for now, guys, this is King Moda Ash Man, Ash Nation, Ash on. Go ahead and put your ash and have fun and enjoy it. And take care of yourself. Happy Father's Day, everyone out there.